okay uh, this red line is basically the sound wave that has been received by the microphone and we have two axes you know we have the time axis and we have the amplitude axis so basically for this sound wave we take samples right rather than saving the entire sound wave we take different samples and for each sample we want to record its height okay to record its height what we have here are these levels right so this is level number one level number two level number three level number four five six seven and eight so we have eight different levels okay the key concept here is we don't save this sample and its height accurately we don't save this sample and its height accurately rather we say that this sample is closest to level 5 and we say that this sample for example is closest to level 3 and this one is closest to level 2 and this one is also closest to level 2 so rather than saving the exact amplitude we say that this one is closest to level 2 and we say that the height of this sample is also closest to level 2 so we use these levels to store the height of the samples ok so right now we have 8 different levels and the formula that we use is 2 raised to power x is number of levels right so x is basically the sampling resolution x is basically the sampling resolution and sampling resolution by definition is the number of bits used to save the amplitude of a single sound sample used to save the amplitude of a sound sample so to save the amplitude of this sound sample we are using 3 bits to save the amplitude of this sound sample we are using 3 bits why am I saying this is 3 bits because we have a total of 8 levels so 2 raised to power x equals 8 means what 2 raised to power 3 equals 8 which means x equals 3 our sampling resolution is 3 and one final and key concept here is we are trying to approximate we are saying that you know the height of this sample for example the height of this sample is is actually equal to level 5 which you know we we can see that it is not exactly level 5 but there is a small gap here in height this gap you know we just approximate we say no 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 this is equal to level 5 this is called something this is called quantization error which basically means what because when we are trying to save the amplitude of a sound wave we do not save the exact amplitude of the sound wave uh, we do not when we are trying to save the amplitude of a sound sample we do not save the exact amplitude rather we approximate it to the closest level we say that this is closer to level 5 so this gap here you know this approximation is what is called quantization error So how can we reduce this quantization error? We can reduce it by increasing the number of levels. So you can see that what I have done is to reduce the quantization error I have doubled the number of levels instead of 8 levels now we have from 0 to 15 which means we have a total of 16 levels which means what 2 raised to power x equals 16 right which means our sampling resolution is going to be 4 2 raised to power 4 is 16 right so what is happening now is that we are going to be saving more bits per sample right we are going to be saving 4 bits per each sample but as a result when I take a sample when I take a sample somewhere there is a lesser gap now between this sample's height and the immediate level right because this gap has now reduced so if I take a sample somewhere here you know the actual height of the sample and the closest level you know there is going to be lesser gap between these two so the quantization error is going to reduce but so we would, what we have understood is that when we increase sampling resolution 
right the quantization error is going to reduce that means the sound quality is going to improve right so sound quality gets better sound quality gets better it improves quantization error decreases when the sampling resolution is increased so when the sampling resolution is increased the sound quality increases the quantization error goes down now we'll be saving more bits now we'll be saving more bits per sample which means that the size of the file is also going to increase because for each sample we'll be saving more bits okay this is the formula for calculating the size of a sound file we take the sampling rate which is basically the number of samples taken in one second from a sound wave we multiply that with the sampling resolution and then we multiply it with the total length of the track you know how many seconds uh, so the track was 10 seconds long or 20 seconds long or was it 100 seconds long so we multiply it with the total time right so that's the formula used to calculate the size of a sound file let's solve um, a past paper question okay let's take a look at what this question says the question says that we are trying to record a music track okay and music is sampled at 44,100 times per second which means what this is our sampling rate right this is our sampling rate we are taking 44,000 samples per second and each sample is 16 bits what he's trying to say is to save each sample we are using 16 bits which means this is our sampling resolution this is our sampling resolution right we, we're using 16 bits to save each sample and then he's saying that each track requires something for left and right speakers what that means is we use separate sampling for left speaker and separate sampling for right speaker which means what we're going to take 44,100 samples for the left speaker and 44,100 samples for the right speaker and now he's asking us to calculate the size in bytes to calculate the number of bytes required to store one second of sampled music so what what is going to be the size of the sound uh, file if the file is one second long right and we have to give our answer in bytes so this is the formula and we're going to use this formula which means what sampling rate is 44,100 and the sampling resolution is 16 bits and the time is one seconds so that's the sound for one speaker but we need we have two speakers so for two speakers this is going to be doubled and finally he says and 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 remember you know this is 16 bits so we our answer is going to come in bits our sampling resolution was 16 bits to convert it into bytes we divide this by 8 so that is the answer uh, now he says that the track is 4 minutes long right and we have to calculate the file size in megabytes okay for one second this was the file size right in bytes so we take our file size for one second 44,100 into 16 into 1 divided by 8 multiplied by 2 so that was the size for one second right and now we have 4 minutes which means what 4 into 60 is 240 seconds right so we're going to multiply this with 240 and that should give us our file size for 4 minutes right the total time is uh, 240 seconds now okay but he wants the answer in megabytes to do that when we divide this by 1024 bytes will convert into kilobytes and we want to convert the kilobytes into megabytes so we divide it one more time with 1024 and now our answer is going to be in megabytes